So, uh, Kevin, can you share a little bit of background information regarding the game? This is a JRPG, Marco. Oh, really? Yes. Um, that's that's about all I know. Here's well, I know what's what's in our review, okay. um, and I and I know that this is a a story in a world that takes place on the back of like huge titans. Okay. Like the world isn't just like a planet; um, it's the back of a titan. Right. But let's uh, let's settle in and see what the opening cutscene has Long to tell ago, us. The world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. Titans were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Well, there we've got our setup. Oh, I thought we had our setup. There's more. Advancing down our weak right flank. For a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Young man. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. That's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah. That's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! We uh. may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. That's a great line. Yeah. With this, the future is ours. <laughs> the kind of line you hear in JRPGs. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should the have guy looks like I a pirate is Dixon. And then I suddenly forgot the name of the main I'm the main dude. I should have uh, been paying better attention. As long as you think you've still got Dunbon. The that that, that was it. Oh, you two. Yeah. We've been ordered to pull back. I'm leaving. Well, I say you're coming with us. What would we do without those? The enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we've got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah! Ah. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away! No point dying in some godforsaken field! 
quite an extensive cutscene. This is hopefully it'll start soon. I'm a little anxious. It's a JRPG. I know, but I'm anxious to see how this is going to turn play? out. Yeah, I want to play too, but I have the feeling we're about to play. <laughs> Check that out. Oh, wow. Nothing's happening. Oh, there we go. That's why because ah, there's okay. a tutorial coming. Monster player character. Oh, right. we got that. That's very out. straightforward. <laughs> All right. So we're going to use. Um, R1 and L1 to, to switch between monsters as it seems in the battle system. All right. Target enemy display the battle palette, and then we press A, choose the fight icon. So here we go. No, and not yet. Boom! <laughs> if you're too far from a monster, you can't attack it. So we'll we'll come up a little closer. And here we go. We are attacking. And it's it's kind of happening automatically. Um, you can see that. I think you see that kind of that bar filling up okay. in the in the icon in the middle. Um, so we select arts, two different kinds of arts, a Monado Enchant, which powers up party members, and Monado Buster for damage. All right. All right, so I will choose that one. And boom, we've powered up our enemies. And he continues to attack. There we go. All right, we'll do the other one now. And there's that art. Oh wow, very pretty nice powerful. Thing, yeah. There we go. More enemies. More enemies. But it's auto targeted. I can move about freely. I'm not actually bashing any, mashing any buttons or anything okay. to do that. So it's it's. I've heard it described as very similar to Final Fantasy XII, and okay. uh, that's certainly an apt comparison from what I can tell so far. Boom. And down he goes. But the battles are not done yet. No. Oh, there is a big dude. And we begin again. We do the big, big attack again, and boom! Oh, I missed. Try the big attack again. You should be able to finish him off. Bam! There you go. Almost 5,000 uh, HP right there. Looks like the Mechon are hell bent on taking us out. They'll have to be if they want to beat us. Another great chair of Yes, line. exactly. <laughs> little self confidence there. You heard of the three of us against the world. <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure. Dixon and Moonkar and Doombon. I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to be going to a flashback momentarily. You think? I think so. I'm yeah, how did we get confident. to this point? Yeah, exactly. Man, he wasn't kicking that much butt when we were playing. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh-oh. And what were they calling that weapon? I forgot momentarily. Oh, it, it skipped my mind. The Monado, thank you. Chris Waters has been paying attention. <laughs> the unseen Chris Waters. I ain't going down that easily. Come back. Are you alright? Oh, what does it look like? Monado sounds like a great so teller for a Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes, even a hero's gotta reach his limit eventually. Oh, see, he's getting a little too much joy out of that. Well, see, he was, he, was, he was very much, you know, unsure of the situation. Now, okay, he is the deserter. We're after the Monado. He's like, so out of here. Oh man, what an ass. Wow. What a coward. <laughs> if this is a joke, it ain't funny. Oh, Looks like this check is that it. thing out. At least we know our luck can't get any worse from here. <laughs> oh, those are words you never speak aloud. Of course. Dumbbell, what are you playing at? Filthy 
idiots. I'll just come and get the banana when everything's caught down. Oh it. man, it's gonna be mine. Ah! I don't you know think what. So. You deserve that. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh boy. That is one super sniper rifle he was <laughs> getting aimed at with. Check that thing out. It's incredible. Panning out. Wow. Okay, chills. Um, I am feeling it right to... now. <laughs> wow. You can say that again. Okay, that's a hell of an opening. Great credit sequence. Yes, I completely agree. I'm a sucker for a good credit sequence. <laughs> I'm actually playing um, El Shaddai right now, okay. and I think it does a really great job with how it with how it introduces the the opening credits. Nice. Um, because there's actually gameplay during the credits. Okay. Which I think is which which I always love. Um, a few other games I can't remember off the top of my head, but a few have done that where as you're playing, the credits will slowly. Appear on the screen. Yeah, Vanquish's end credits were, were really great. In that sense. But oh, stuff's going on. We better pay attention. Yeah, we don't want to disturb the game. Because this isn't just for the readers, this is also for me. <laughs> I this is how I'm gonna be playing the game. The joint section. So. It's buckled. <sighs> it's completely useless. Ugh. An M69! <sighs> its armor would be perfect for making a shield. If I can just get it off, I should be able to... Ah! Ah! <sighs> Shulk! <sighs> right! It's not a mech. Oh, hello. It's wow. just a crab. It was using the Mechon armor as a shell. That is one very clever creature. Yeah. I think you're going to another battle. I think you're right. Okay, more. One more uh, tutorial. More tutorial. HP and enemy HP. Classic, um, classic stuff there. Yep. No surprises. Okay. Select arts that way. So backslash deals damage. Restore HP with a heal. No surprises. Select who will be healed when you heal. Okay, I get that. Do a little heal. Cannot use the same art repeatedly. There's a cooldown period. Makes sense. We are yeah, we already figured that out though. That's that's pretty standard. <laughs> So we will do the backslash. We can definitely do this. Talent arts are also specific to a particular character. So the middle icon is the talent arts. And again, the gauge must be full to use it. Stop attacking. Again, another fairly easy battle. Yep. And treasure chests. Which I think we will open. A, sh uh, a couple of shells. And. Okay, that's uh, pretty standard. Battle arena. Of course. Can't, get Can't escape it. until. It's a common caterpillar. <laughs> Alright, be aware of aggro. Um, we know what aggro is, but in case you're watching and don't know what aggro is, that's. Uh, that's basically the monster's uh, it's targeting you, and it's, uh, you know, it wants you. Um, more damage the monster takes from a party member, the greater the aggro towards that member. And if a member of the party becomes the target of a monster's wrath, an aggro ring will appear around them. Okay, pretty standard so far. 
backslash if I attack from behind the monster, it does more damage. Seems pretty standard. Again, yeah. No surprises. Okay. I'll maneuver around and there's the backslash. No need to heal. Boom. Another job well done. Well, those caterpillars are pretty tough. Thanks, yeah. That was a close one. Ryan. Shulk and Ryan. What are you doing wandering off by yourself? Stay where I can keep an eye on you. It's pretty dangerous outside of the colony. There are all kinds of monsters. Yeah. But thanks to you, we got its shell. Everyone in the colony is going to be really happy. I'm more worried about you than the shell. No, oh, whatever. Knowing what you're like, at least you'll make a decent weapon out of it. This scrap driver's excellent. I just learned by watching Dixon make weapons. So I, of course, obviously there's going to be some kind of crafting system. system. Yeah, there should be. Yeah. Games like this. I hope I can figure out the secret of his power one day. You Talking about the Monado. Anyway, I think we're pretty sure they're going to discover the secret. Yes. Square Tash? Oh, the Defense Force Colonel. <laughs> He's pretty scary. <laughs> Tell me about it. Sorry, I didn't mean for you to come all the way out here during your break. Don't worry about it. Let's get back. Looks like maybe a little exploration now. Hopefully. Things moving along at a, at a pretty good pace. Yeah, we've been playing for about 20 minutes or so. Yeah, follow the arrow to advance the story. Number shows the distance to your destination. But don't forget the treasure chest before you nope. go. Nope, that I definitely won't. Hammer instructions, etc. And how to save. And tutorials. It's pretty standard. The uh, the X button will bring up a menu and you'll be able to choose stuff from there. Alright. Further tutorials are out as you play the game. View these to see more information. Let's get our treasure. Caterpillar syrup and a broken antenna. It's an interesting, um, you know, combination of the, the mechanical and the biological so far, which uh, I really appreciate. Oh, what is, let's, let's what, I'm just check. that is a kind of a, check out that tail though. That, that is, is a grasping tail. Yeah. Oh, we can initiate battles like this. Let's do it. Nice. How good are we? Is it me or is health persistent as opposed to replenishing after battle every battle? Let's uh, make sure to. I think that's the case from what I just noticed. Mm -hmm. But let's pay attention the next time we go in to see if our health is full. Now in that situation, that you initiated the battle, could you have skipped it or did it happen? Yeah, nothing. It okay. didn't. You know, it didn't aggro me at all. Like I, I had to initiate that. Okay. Um, I'm just curious though, let's attack the bunny. I I'm sorry, but, oh yeah, full health. Yeah. So. I think in the last uh, battle, it was because your, your character leveled up, that may have affected your, uh, your HP status. Right. Oh yeah, maybe. Stiff hair. Mm -hmm. Alright. But at least through here, it doesn't look like anything's going to attack us unless we initiate it. What's this blue thing? So there's a collectopedia. All right. um, fill in a row or collect all the items in an area to receive a reward. So be on the lookout for uh, blue glowies, I guess, is what we're looking for here. And other, there will definitely be others. There will definitely be others. Nooks and crannies you'll have to look through. Let's do the Skeeter. Just because, you know, fun. I'm curious to see how the battle system evolves. I mean, I like treasure. That's the thing, you know. Who it's, it's an RPG. How are you finding the controls so far? So far, um, really great. Um, but for what it's worth for anybody watching, I'm playing with a classic controller. Okay. Um, so I had heard that that was probably the best way to play. No reason really to, to play any other way. So... Would you be willing to try it out later on with just the Wii Remote? Yeah, or? totally. We can do that. I imagine that it's done just in a, in a traditional manner of turning it on its side, no motion controls. Of course, yeah. I find it's interesting that the enemy battles are just based on the enemy that you attack, because there was that other character walking around and it, it didn't bother. I guess that's with, because of the aggro. 
Right. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it looks like these are probably things to hunt as opposed to, to monsters, mm -hmm. per se. Like, if you want to go out and get resources, you know, you can go out and hunt the bunnies for their hair yeah. and, and whatnot. Let's, let's do another one, just because we can say we did. I mean, I'm somebody that, I have a pretty high limit for grinding, so when I say, oh, something feels repetitive or grindy, that means that it really must be repetitive and grindy. All right. So yeah, if, I, if it seems like I'm starting to get a little too grindy, just say, you know, Kevin, maybe the people want to see something different other than what you're doing. Let's, oh, here's uh, another one of those caterpillars. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll do this one too. What can I say? Oops. Knockdown. Knockback attack. Heal myself this time. Not that I really need it. This thing's going to go down pretty quick. Although it's packing quite a punch. Level up. Level up. Nice. Affinity coin. Art learnt. No, don't forget the treasure. Oh, thank you. I didn't even see the treasure chest. I, oh, so somehow I missed the giant <laughs> glowing thing. But yeah. So I learned an art. Does it? I guess it just shows up automatically, right? I'm not sure. Let's take a look at the uh, the party screen just to just to check it out. Cause say we got rain and shulk. Let's check out rain. He's a pretty heavy-duty guy. He's got a scrap driver um, and a junk sword, which is equipped to. Uh, so this is this is uh, everything the party has okay. here. And then I can use um, the R buttons like that. So uh, how do I get through there? Oh, change tab is, uh, is minus. There we go. So I don't even have anything else to equip. Yeah. But chances Which is are, all right. with, with the items that you've collected so far, you'll be able to sell them or combine them to create something. And it looks like there are slots for gems. There, you, exactly. I was going to say gems or runes, but okay. it looks like I, I hit it on the head. Um, but we've already see, been through this stuff, so we know there's there's nothing else yeah. to really quit. But it's it's nice to see that there are going to be ways to uh, further upgrade the weapons we have. So there you go. So it looks like the art is probably going to be... Well, nope, I'm wrong. There's a menu for that. So set up and level arts, manage skill trees, and set up skill links. The game hasn't actually explained anything like that, and there's nothing for me to do here. It's not letting me actually pull that up. Chances are once you reach your destination, you'll learn about that. I'm sure I will. But I'm greedy. <laughs> I want to know things now. Another collectible? A dand it was a dandelion. All right, let's do this. OK, here's the new art, attack from the side. Ah. Uh. So I guess the trick is get to the point where you where it does the most damage. It's kind of hard to tell with that thing, but that was pretty easy. broken antennas. This place is just covered with stuff to fight. I don't know, if anybody's in the chat, maybe they should tell us whether they want us to fight some more or just get on with it. Hopefully they'll respond. In the meanwhile, I'll just fight another thing for some antennas. <laughs> Try to get behind it. Whoops. I don't know if I was really from behind the dirt was. Get from the side. Try it there. Ooh, nice. Let's stay focused. Am I going the right direction? I can't tell. Oh, there we there go. Are, yeah, the arrow was. Yeah. I couldn't quite tell because the arrow was was straight on. I gotta say, this game's gorgeous to look at. It is. It's very nice. Um, and it, it's it's nice to play a game. You know, it's so often there's this thing that's like it looks gorgeous for a Wii game, mm -hmm. but you can just legitimately look at this and say, hey, this is gorgeous. Exactly. But it also helps that we're also playing this on a very nice looking TV, so. Yeah, that's it's a true. It's combination of things. That's true. But, you know, I've always said that, that good art is timeless. Of course. So when you look at a gorgeous game, it, you know, the, the most beautiful of them all, are, they're always going to be beautiful no matter what. You off to the weapon development lab? Yeah, when I've sold any parts I can't use. All right, see you later. So we're going to learn about the Weapons Development Lab, as far as I can tell, as well as um, shopping. Organized party. It's organized. 
Yeah, it just it automatically came up. So uh, battle members, reserves, guests. That should be interesting to figure out what happens as time goes on. Yeah. Visiting the shops. Every shopkeeper has a big old circus tent over their head. Make money by defeating monsters and selling your loot to a shop. It's expensive loot, inexpensive loot. All right. <laughs> So does that mean, I wonder if the inventory is automatically going to label that stuff as trash? There's only or, one way to find out. Yep. Press A to talk to anyone. Complete the quests they give to receive money, experience or items. Now, I am a pretty completionist when it comes to quests, right. so I'm just just expect me to do quests that I come across. Oh, uh, okay. Um, press Y to trade with named individuals. Some of them will gladly take an item you don't need in exchange for a rare item. All right. The story will progress even if you don't do that stuff. Okay, That that's... Just game 101. <laughs> but you oh. gained some experience for doing, you know, paying attention. I did. Come back here. Oh, she doesn't want to talk to me. No. Um, this is Dunban's house. I noticed we already we already met Dunban. So let's, let's. I'm just gonna wander around a little bit. I want to see what's in here. I want to see what's to look at. Um, right. oh, you pass see a wedding ring. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe that's a quest item. It looked like um, another one of those collectibles that if you fill the fill It the was, row, but it was a different color. It was though. a different color. So I'm thinking it might be some, of some importance. Okay, here we got... Uh, looks like maybe uh, a quest. My grandsons are having quite the altercation. And now, to get the upper hand, they're both in training. That doesn't sound good. I'm saying this out loud because I don't know if people can see this in the stream. I worry that they can't see the text. But have you ever heard of anything so ridiculous? I certainly haven't. I do hope the younger of the two wins, though. Man! He is my flesh and blood, after all. That's why I'd like someone to take him to the, take him the biscuits I've made. <laughs> Might encourage him to train harder. All right, I can live with that. Take some biscuits. Accept? I'm accepting. Yeah, that's an easy quest. Don't argue with me. Oh, wait, you didn't. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> I'm most grateful my legs aren't what they used to be, you see. <laughs> I can tell, lady. All right, so Marsha, Marsha, Marsha is going to make me some biscuits. Yes. Get them, all of them. Okay, I'm taking all the biscuits. Relationships. Oh. All right, here's something new. Talking to named residents of an area or town will register them on an affinity chart, which shows the relationships between party members and the residents. All right. That, uh, my first friend. I got an achievement. A fake achievement. Welcome. You can buy and sell anything here. Well, should we go and Let's see how this it. trash uh, sells? It's a nice, slick menu system. I don't have to uh, wade through, like, several lines before I can get to the, to the buy-sell. That's good. Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Torso, arms, legs, feet. Okay, that's all. Okay, materials. Now, here's the thing. I'm wondering if this is stuff that ends up being useful. Small shells, syrup, sweet nectar, stiff hair, broken antenna. Is this going to be useful? I mean, all I know for sure is that this is this is small and this is large. Right? I wouldn't sell everything right away. Sell the smaller things that we can clearly see are small, because they probably won't. Like the broken antenna, you can collect more if you need it any time. All right, let's just. Well, let's keep a few antennae. We'll keep the hair. We can. Well, you know what? Let's just sell this for now. I mean, it's not like I'm in danger of running out of inventory of course. space. Of you're, you're still early in the game. Tell. But I'm kind of curious, okay, so arts manuals, gems, crystals, and collectibles. These are things that we actually want. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to look at the collectibles. Dragonfly, plate snow, dandelion, which we found a cool potato. <laughs> um, I love a good potato. Thank you, please come again. You're welcome. You didn't feel like buying anything? Oh, you know what, maybe we should look. Just take a quick glance. I get so involved. <laughs> okay, nothing, nothing new there. Weapons. Um, there we go. A new cap. 
Um, Help your defense. That's true. Should we go ahead and get the cap? What do you think? Might as well. It looks like the battle gear is going to improve physical defense, but, but ether, ether defense will go down. And your agility drops. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and just get the cap. I'm fine with that. All right. Let's see if there's anything in here. Jacket could come in handy. Um, I've got 2,800 G gold, I guess. Yeah. Unless we discover that it's a different kind of currency. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get the jacket. I'm good with that. Cuffs, gauntlets, protector amulet. Ooh. That protects you from uh, from ether attacks, it seems. And also you'll but be it, able to add a gem to it later on. Yeah, that's true. On the other hand, in the short term, it doesn't really give me anything much more than this does. If I get the cuffs, I get a bump on two um, factors, in, yeah. in two factors, whereas I get it all goes. But you know what? I'm kind of willing to take that chance, right? I mean, it's more expensive, so but it seems like maybe it's got the longer term benefit, right? Of course, especially early on in the game. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's check out and see if we need. Okay. Now we're running out of money. Um, but should we? I mean, you, you want to hold on to a little bit of the money? Yeah. We got 760 gold. So let's let's hold on to it for now. And let's do some equipping. So, let's go ahead and equip that stuff. I imagine that some of it can actually be equipped on uh, on either character. Okay. But I, I, I don't know that for sure. But let's go ahead and... Uh, and equip the new items. Hmm. And there's the, the amulet that has the slot. We didn't get new shorts or new no. boots, though, or a new weapon. So uh, in due time, I'm trying to figure out if there's a way for me to change. Oops, hit that button by mistake. Details change tab. Remove select. Okay, so that just removes the item from him. Okay. I was wondering if there was a way to to quickly get to the other character from here. Well, so, you only have one character right now, so... Oh, you're right. You're absolutely number. right. But, so, I've still got the old stuff. So, we'll hold on to that before we sell it, right? Yep. I'd forgotten that we were now a party of one. For That's me, whenever so I play a JRPG, I, I tend to keep everything. Because you never know what... You might need it later on. Right. Alright, another quest. Oh, his niece wants something cute. <laughs> but he's not very good at uh, shopping. Like most guys. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, he wants us to uh, collect two rabbit diodes in Colony 9. I'm, I'm sure our travels will take us to Colony 9. Yeah. This is Colony 9. He's a resident of Colony 9. <laughs> so keep your eyes open for shiny things. Kind of like real life, Marco. Yes. I know you you like the bling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch out. The, the defense force colonel with the pointy mustache. <laughs> is that square stash? That can't be. That's pointy. Square stash isn't pointy, right? It could it's be square. the same person, you know. What the heck is that? Okay, that's a little too happy for me. Okay, so Dunban is clearly a hero in these parts. As we saw in the intro. It's a great way to like kind of get to know the character, and then when people refer to him, you already know who they're talking about. Yep. I think, did I just level up? Yes, you I did. Was, I was looking over at you for just a brief moment. Okay, Gem Man. Okay. When creatures die, they leave ether crystals behind. Everyone knows that, don't they? Well, we of do course, now. Yeah. yeah. Ether particles in the body are, oh, that, well, that stuff's complicated. Just remember that they give you crystals when they die. So the furnace compresses ether crystals and removes impurities. You use it to make ether gems. So we know they give us powers. Yep. For we can use them in the home. <laughs> They're great for use in the home or by the defense force. <laughs> Just put them in weapons or armors with slots. Probably what we expected. Yeah.
Oh, nice. All right, so it looks like we're gonna get some uh, some free gems and a tutorial. There we go. Select gem you wish to equip and uh, and slot it in. So let's give it a try, right? Yep. And we know that weapon's got two slots as well as that amulet. And these are. I don't think I can equip. Can I not equip that, or is that just because it's, that's the color? So I HP tried out, up. I'm not too sure. Okay, it worked. Oops. And strength up. Nice. Yep. No, I was able to no equip problems. that. Yeah. And actually, if we come across another, we've already got an item that we can use it in, which is nice. Perfect. Yeah. Another achievement that hits the slot. Very clever. What's going on over here? Oh. What's oh, that? I thought that was a glowy thing. That's another one of those creatures. I don't know what they're called yet, but uh, you know, you kind of expect that with a JRPG, right? Like yeah, you've got humans, and they're always just unusual creatures. So the arrow is pointing in that general direction. So it looks like we're heading into the actual colony. You know, it's let's 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 pan the camera around. Yeah, show off at. these vistas. Yeah. Wow. And I'm sure this is not one of the more fantastical views, right? Of course, it's you only know, they, the they all the game. They're all to come. So, all right, Central Plaza. It reminds me very much of an MMO where you walk around and you gain experience for that. You know, like you 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 find new areas yeah. and then suddenly you're just being rewarded for for checking things out. Okay, so we're heading to the military district. You can tell because suddenly everything's starting to look a little bit angrier. Okay, so the colony features landmarks and locations. And discovering the will award XP, which we kind of knew, yeah, right? Yeah, we figure that out. Um, and then you have, to, you have to, to, to see them on the overhead map. Um, you have to you have to come across them first, so that's not necessarily a surprise. <laughs> As you can tell, I do like talking to random people in JRPGs. I'm not so completionist that I have to talk to every single one of them, but I do like to get an idea of like who these people are, where they live, what they're all about. And sometimes they do actually have some useful information. That'll that's help you true. Out. Nice what the hell are you playing at? Uh oh, the colonel's gonna explode. Uh oh, square stash. Crashing the mobile. There you go. Wow. Oh, he does have pointy. Does have pointy mustache. Sorry, sir. It's just that we were trying to go as fast as we could, like you ordered. I'm guessing this is supposed to be comedic relief. To a degree, yeah. I don't want any excuses. The music told me. They <laughs> win. What is also his, the fact that his he's animation? A, yeah. <laughs> also the fact that he looks like a buffoon as he as he does this. A million's kind of a lot. Yeah. A little too much what? there. You better give a damn good reason why. Sir, the impact of the crash damaged the ether conduction cable. The ether fuel proceeded to leak out, and now the cylinder is empty. Well, change the cylinder then. Can't you even do something as I wonder if I'll have to go that? searching for a cylinder. It you sounds think? like you will. It'll yeah. Up. It'll be three days until more come in, sir. I told you to keep a stock of fuel in reserve. Sorry, sir. Man, You're nothing never but <laughs> Oof. Same old colonel. At this rate, the men will all be dead before they see any action. I really like those goggles. Yeah, they're pretty impressive. Those. Okay, let's chat with the colonel. He's he's our desk. He's our destination. What's up? Oh no, that's the soldier. Oh, it's just a side quest. There's some Lake Flammy. Want to bet those are flaming creatures? I would not be surprised. Yeah, they're on the beach. 
We need to take a couple of them out. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say we'll, we'll take that. They're just so busy, they haven't had the time. Yeah. So, our destination is this way. Let's head on inside. Oh, another side quest. And to point out, too, that, I mean, no loading time since we've been doing all this. That's even true. Even wide, big areas without having uh, any load times going into new places. Well, the only load times we've had was the transition from the intro into this scenario. That's right. the only time we actually had anything that resembled a Absolutely. loading screen. He needs materials for research. Too busy to get more. All right. I'll get your small shells. They're crabbles. They're called crabbles. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, for a minute, I thought that meant these creatures are called crabbles. It just means that crabs drop them. All right. So, Kevin, is this game... Do you think this game will ever reach North America? You know what? If I had to guess, no. No? Really? Yeah. I mean, we've all been hopeful. We've all been vocal. Um, all right, Shulk. But uh, is that the... Uh, Oh, hello. When did you get back to we Colony know him. 9? Yeah. Just now. Yeah, but if I had to guess, I I'd say... Busy. Um, Looks like it no, I mean, Nintendo has a long history of being pretty well. stubborn, right? Yes, that's true. So, right so they're saying there are no plans, change. and I, I just can't imagine that those plans are going to come to fruition, or those non-existent really plans would, would ever come to fruition. It is a little disappointing, considering that Europe got the game a couple of weeks so ago, Australia is getting it next week, and... It's in English, so there's no real difficulty in localizing the game for North American gamers. So. Yeah, I mean, it reminds me a lot of, um, you know, for example, the Chinese version of Demon Souls. Okay. Um, had, uh, you know, had English um, voiceover and subtitles, and the, the English voiceover all stayed the same um, when it came over. I mean, they changed a lot of the translation okay. in terms of the the written translation, but um, everything else remained mostly the same. So, it's still only conjecture, you know, but it's starting to look like the I think Americans would be perfectly willing to live with funny spellings of things like maneuver. Of course. You know. I see. And the evidence to support your theory. I should have been paying attention to what was it's happening the on the screen. The <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. I'm sorry. No, no, it's quite fine. <laughs> what I know is, the central piece is made from multi-layered glass. The symbol appears on the top layer, and each layer is constructed differently. So it's possible that other symbols could appear on different layers. Which means... The Monado might conceal even more power. Am I right? If we could just... Unlock the Monado's power. Another great kind of JRPG line. If we could just unlock the power. So what we were watching earlier was not a flashback, it was just part of the normal scenario. Uh-oh. We have no idea what he's whispering. Okay, so this is the past from the point we're seeing. The beginning was the... It was the Monado. Well, the present, but we're playing the... It was oh, the Monado was controlling Doonbomb. So, it saved, us. saved us and saved our future. It will be up to you. So he passed on... Dunban. A message. Well, better get the supplies delivered to the defense force. I'll drop round the HQ and see how they're getting on. Okay then. I'll see you later. Shulk, you're spending too much time in the lab. Either that or rummaging for junk in the scrapyard. It ain't healthy for a kid your age. That's why you're always looking so pasty. You should get out, get some fresh air once in a while. All right, I'm off. <laughs> see the Monado. It's full power yet to be unlocked. But in due time, you will unlock it. 
Why, I have to imagine, of course. I dig the soundtrack as well so far. Uh, do you remember who uh, did the soundtrack? Are you awake, Cat? I don't. I don't. Like I said, I'm coming into this kind of fresh uh, on purpose. Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. Actually, someone in the you chat room cool. says it's Yoko Don't Shimomura. Oh yeah. The music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not a surprise that it's yeah. high quality music. Do you want me to feed kind of... you? <laughs> Do you want me to Don't feed you? Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. No, I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Oh, why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. So we never really... I made something really special ...got to today. see all the events Don't that, like that got him put in that position. Field. I would have loved to have seen the, uh, the heroism. The yeah. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Uh-oh. Shulk has no sense of taste. She likes say shock. It's delicious, even uh -oh, if it's stone cold. What a crush. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Mm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dumban, thanks. He's been through some harsh stuff. I mean, his arm is absolutely I, devastated. I'm not finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. And hopefully use it against his... Was it, it was implied, though, that uh, the, the traitor just, like, was, was killed, right? But we, we didn't actually we didn't see, see that. Yeah. Um, all right. So now we're playing her name is Fiora? I think that's an O yeah, and not a C. Fiora. Yeah. All right, so she's got to uh, find find Shulk and give him the food. As the story advances, story quests become available. Sure. Hey, Fiora. Dixon. Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he'll have gone. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. The voice acting is quite good, too. Um, I mean, I know they're, they're always the purists. Who, uh, who want the Japanese voice acting. Um, I didn't look to see if it was included in this version. I have to imagine it was. It usually is, but I could be wrong about that. It's, okay, now it's just telling us that we things we already know. All right. Now, with the, the title Xenoblade, does it have any relation to the Xeno Saga or Xeno Gears franchise? Yeah, I think, well... Other than the fact that it's, they're both made by the same people at Monos, Monolith Soft? I, you know what? I didn't play um, Xeno Gears. Okay. Um, I played Xeno Saga, um, but I didn't play Xeno Gears, so I, I, I don't want to talk out of my butt okay. and say something that I'm not sure about. Screw Edge. Okay, some gloves. Oh wow! That thing was, and a crystal. Okay, let's see if she's got anything that can be crystallized. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it that from now on. All right. And she does. So let's go ahead and. Oh, I thought I picked up a crystal. I guess maybe it's not usable here, right? We'll Perhaps. just assume that. Um. And that. What, what was the other thing I picked up? I already forgot. Oh boy. It was a glove, that's... Yeah, you're right, it was gloves, okay. 
So there's definitely an improvement here. So let's go ahead and put those buffs on. All right. So there's a day-night cycle in the game as well, I see. There is a day-night cycle. Um, you want to... Oh, we're level four. That's level five. We're, we're going to go ahead and do it? I think you can do it. You All can right, handle this. It. Attack from behind. I'll try. All right, we'll just do it anyway. Screw Edge! Okay, now I'm feeling a little. Uh oh, and you. I think and I haven't saved the game. What? What happened? This could be interesting. <laughs> oh, so oh, just there restart. we go. Okay. Yeah. That's a little reassuring. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea if we s went so, and saved. Yeah. Here we go. So when the leader's HP reaches zero, where the leader falls from too great a height, the party comes up to pass save. We'll be returned to the last landmark okay. we visited. So that's that's not such a bad thing, but you know you're right. Let's go ahead, not, not mess with that. We will create our first save game yes. in Xenoblade after a m Chronicles. almost an hour of playing. Yeah, I bet you uh, the live team is is getting very anxious for us to wrap up soon. Yeah, we will have to soon call it a day. But I am not gonna take. That's a bunny that I can handle for sure. Now it looks like we don't aggro anything else if we're too close to something. Yeah. So they're pretty oblivious to what's happening around. We almost didn't make it. Stiff hair and a bunnet paw. I love their tails. They look like they could just, they, they can grasp anything with yeah, that Yeah, very impressive. And, um... It seems as though our quest, um, point is in this direction. Right? Yeah. Because that's where it looks like it's, it's trying to get us to go. On the cursor on the map, yeah. Yeah. So we will walk in this general direction. And here's another collectible. It's a blue chain, and I see another one up the stairs, which looks like that's our destination anyway. We'll go ahead and see what's going on up here, and then probably call it yeah, a day sure. until the next time. But I kind of want to see what's what's awaiting for us up here. More collectibles. Moonflower. You know what? I'm going to stretch things out. I bet you that would work out easier if I started off with an art. <laughs> and just attacked it from the rear. There's something. Well, because it wasn't a one-hit kill, that's for sure. Exactly. <laughs> so your health actually doesn't replenish completely. It's a progressive. If you were just paying attention on the last script, it's a progressive, like it, you're awesome. slowly regenerating your health. Awesome. So, be careful when you go later on and it gets tougher battles. Looks like we're finally uh, about to deliver our soup. It's the only sword that's effective against the mech on armor. Really? The one sword ever that's effective against their armor? Before time began, it was wielded by the Bioness. I guess they can't make more. The same Bioness that we all live on. It must have a secret. Swords That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many mechs. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. Shulk! <clears throat> Fiora! Mm. This is great. It tastes so good. Really? He's not just saying that. <laughs> Talk. You say that every day. Not quite. Mm. It's always delicious, but today it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. 
So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. You know what's great about that, though, is that I play so many RPGs where the characters don't actually interact in the way real people do. That actually strikes me as a way, like, real people oh, would actually interact, so where she's insecure, and he's like, no, this really is good. Yeah. And I he's oblivious know. of the it's fact that she likes like. him. I never thought it could be so quiet here. Yeah, it just, it just strikes me as though it, it seems pretty authentic, and a lot of that has to do with the voice acting. Mm -hmm. You'll get it, um, used to all the it reminds me of, say, Final Fantasy yeah, X. Maybe. With, with some of the very unusual character interactions that seem really forced. And, it's so peaceful. You know, there's no... You know, Shulk, there's none of that I leftover things that you often see in translations of, of Japanese dialogue. You, yeah. know, there, you know, there haven't been any, you know, unusual high-pitched giggles, and she, she acts like a the person. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Strange. There hasn't been much fooling lately. Uh-oh. Oh, so they have uh, defenses set up to kind of take care of the falling debris. And it's so nothing to them. It's yeah. like, yeah, this happens all the time. The anti air batteries Everyday part of life. Out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. Well, I think. That, okay, just as we get into a, uh, a two-party or a two-member party situation, it looks like we're going to wrap up. We've been doing this for about an hour now. Yeah. Um, but uh, I hope everybody's really gotten a lot out of what they've seen today. I know I have. Um, Same here. And I'm hoping that um, the next time that I play this game, you'll be joining me. I um, hope so, too. And that everybody out there will be joining me. And um, who knows, maybe they'll even get to see our faces that time. Of course, hopefully. But uh, thanks everybody for joining us uh, with Now Playing for uh, taking a look at Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, I'm, I was joined, obviously, by the great Marco Djordjevic. Thank you. And I'm Kevin Van Ord. And uh, we will definitely see you later. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.